for video streaming, gaming, social media, plus smart home devices, and security systems standard high-speed or cellular internet is just too slow. But broadband keeps your home connected. Call or visit Gearhart Broadband online. A train derailment in Pike County today apparently caused by a significant mudslide injured two railroad employees and caused a major fire. I was out at the scene this morning while the wreckage was still burning. In this dramatic piece of submitted video, two CSX train crew members cling to the front of their derailed locomotive for dear life. Their train derailed just before 7 a.m. Thursday morning near the Pond Creek area of Draffin, across from Ratliff Bottom. It was traveling southbound along the Levisa Fork of the Big Sandy River when, according to officials, it struck a significant mudslide that had covered the tracks with mud and rock. The lead locomotive of the train plunged into the Levisa Fork. Three locomotives and five of the train's 98 cars, including four of the train's 96 tanker cars loaded with ethanol, derailed and caught fire. Local emergency officials called for some evacuations in the area. Uh, two of the tank cars were breached in the uh, derailment and lost their cargo, which started to burn and uh, the diesel fuel from the locomotives that spilled were also burning. So we had a pretty good fire this morning, and there was a couple of other tank cars that were involved in the derailment that were uh, impinged upon by the fire, and we, concern we had concerns about those possibly exploding, and we evacuated the small area around the crash site. A local resident described hearing the crash and seeing the fire ignite. He also described the feeling of helplessness as he watched two men beg for rescue from the flames and the swollen river. The train whistle woke me up, which I usually hear it at Pond, which it woke me up right here behind the house. And then uh, immediately after, it sounded like a tornado was ripping through the house. It's a very loud, loud rumbling. And uh, the orange, the fire woke, I seen the fire and knew immediately what happened. The, uh, the two workers come out on the front of the engine and was uh, asking us for help. I mean, there, there's, there's nothing really you can do with the, the water. It's real gut-wrenching right there. You haven't, you, they're asking you for help and you want to help, but there's not a thing you're going to do to help them. The Millard Rescue Team come in and, uh, with their, 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 uh, their boat. Got them off. We watched the two the two workers get off the front of the the engine and actually wade through the water to the bank away from the fire. Uh, and the boat picked them up, picked them up right over there. Oh, that's a sigh of relief. Once I seen them get off the front of the engine, and they were both walking, they were both alive, both walking. They got on the bank. And approximately the same time they got on the river bank, the boat come down through here. It's just a sigh of relief. Hey, they're gonna make it. It's, it, it's a miracle that they're alive today. The train crew members whose names have not been released were taken to Pikeville Medical Center for treatment of non-life-threatening injuries after being rescued by the Millard Fire Department. The train's wreckage continued to burn for hours after the derailment. Local, state, federal, and railroad officials converged on the scene to begin investigating the crash. The fire has pretty much burned itself out. Railroad crews are on the scene. National Transportation Safety Board is on their way to do an investigation along with the Federal Railway Administration, who's already on scene. Uh, there's other investigators and has met people from uh, CSX on their way there. Some have already arrived. Other than the train's engineer and conductor, there were no other injuries associated with the derailment. In a statement issued by CSX, the railroad says the safety of the surrounding community first responders and the railroad's crew members is the top priority. The railroad deployed its environmental response team to the area to assist with the response. Now another issue associated with the derailment is how it could affect local water supplies. The wreck happened just upstream from the intakes for Mountain Water District at Regina and the Levisa Fork also feeds the water supply for the City of Pikeville and for Southern Water District. 
Officials tell me that the intakes for Mountain Water District and Pikeville were shut down shortly after the derailment to prevent any fuel intake. The Kentucky Division of Water allowed the intakes for Mountain Water and Pikeville to resume operations Thursday evening. A determination on Southern Water District was set to be made later Thursday.